guys and welcome back to the family fudge and welcome to another week of school lunch inspiration this time with more Christmas ideas okay guys I have a quick shout out before we get started and it's going to Ariel DIY for leaving us our first comment on last week's video thank you now let's get started Good morning guys and happy Monday. Today I have Mackenzie helping me. Say hi. Hi. And what's Monday, Kenzie? PB&J day. That's right. Today's PB&Js are super cute because they're mini sandwiches. And I use these cookie cutters I found from Walmart. You just have to press down this little button here and it makes the cute little shape on there. So Mackenzie's getting snowman and Jackson's getting Christmas trees, and Lily is going to get gingerbread men. Now to go along with that, I have a treat today. These are the peppermint dipped snowflake pretzels. These are dangerously good. I really like these. And I'm also sending a few slices of turkey and some peas and some tomatoes with a little bit of ranch. Now over here, I'm also sending this really cute little string cheese. I just drew a little snowman face on there with a Sharpie. And then in our little snack bags today, I have some popcorn. So, this looks really fun. What do you think, Mackenzie? It looks really cool. All right, let's get our lids on and then you guys can head out the door. Okay guys, so we're back home now and I have no helpers with me because they're all playing outside. But as you can tell, they really enjoyed their lunch today. I think they pretty much ate everything. I don't see much left of anything. Maybe one little sugar snap pea, but that is it. They told me that they really liked their lunch today, and so it was a win. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon, guys, and happy Tuesday. Right now I have Mackenzie and Jackson with me. Hi. Hi. And normally on Tuesdays we head out the door and we go to a nut-free campus, but today we're actually off, so we're having lunch at home today. So I just finished up making some pasta. This is actually some really cute Christmas tree shaped pasta and to keep it green I am serving it with some pesto. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this in our bowls. It's nice and hot right now and then I'll tell you about the rest of our lunch. Does it look good you guys? Yeah. It smells good. I like pesto. Okay, so to go along with our pasta, I'm also serving these really cute little cucumbers and I use my gingerbread man cookie cutter to cut them out and then I put this really cute little hat on them, just for fun. Hey, look at this. Run, run, jump, jump for joy. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread boy. That's right. So to go along with that, I'm serving a couple of cherry tomatoes and some ranch. This is the homemade ranch to dip in. And then over here, I have some really fun fruit. I just took some bananas and some strawberries and sliced them up and I tried my best to make a candy cane shape, although they're not really staying together that well, but they're still cute, right guys? Yeah. Yes. Okay, and then we also have a little treat today. These are the peppermint pretzel slims from Trader Joe's. It's basically like a pretzel with white chocolate and crushed up candy canes. They are so good. So we have a couple of those. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and give this to the kids. Now, kids, I want you to make sure to eat everything before you eat your treat, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, so here's how they did. Mackenzie ate pretty much everything. Just a few strawberries left. Jackson, you're the winner. You yeah. ate everything. And then Lily has a little bit of pasta left and some fruit and some vegetables. Apparently, she wasn't really into the cucumbers, like, at all. I think she took one bite. But that's okay. What did you guys think? It was really good. What was your favorite part? I liked the mac and cheese and the pretzel. The pesto and noodles? Yeah. And the pretzel. The pretzels were so good. I love those pretzels. What did you think, Jack? Um, this, this, and the cucumbers. Awesome. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good afternoon, guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Now usually on Wednesdays we eat lunch at home, so that's exactly what we're doing today. I have Mackenzie with me, and I have Jackson with me. Say hi. hi. Does it look good, you guys? Yeah. Okay, so we started with a pizza, because we love to make pizza, and Lily actually helped me make these. We just rolled out our dough, used our cookie cutter to cut out the shapes, and then both her and Jackson put cheese and pepperoni, and then I stuck them in the oven. Now to go along with that, I'm also serving a spinach salad with some cherry tomatoes. Very red and green festive looking. 
I also have a little bit of cottage cheese over here. And then I have seen these everywhere. These are really popular around Christmas time, but I never made them because I thought if I sent them with the kids that the, the bananas would turn brown. But since we're eating at home today, it's a perfect time to make these. These are basically just a strawberry with a little slice of banana and then a marshmallow on top. And I've stuck them on a little toothpick and they're supposed to look like Santa's cap or San a Santa hat. Do they look like Santa's hat? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, so we have three of those. And then I'm also including a little treat today. These are the candy cane JoJo's from Trader Joe's and there's crushed up pieces of candy cane in there. So it's sort of a mint chocolate treat. Does it look good? Yeah. All right. Let's see. This one's for Lily, for Jackson. Thank you. And for Mackenzie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Lunchtime is over, and here's how they did. Overall, they did really well. I see that Mackenzie left her cookie. You didn't like your cookie? Um, it's just I felt really full. You're too full. Well, we can save it for later. And then let's see. Jackson ate pretty much everything. He has one bite of cottage cheese. And one little bite. Oh, you're gonna finish that right now? Okay. And then Lily did really good. She has a couple of bites of cottage cheese left and she left some of her pizza, but those pieces got a little bit too dark. So maybe she didn't like those. And we'll see, see you guys, guys tomorrow. tomorrow. Good morning, friends, and happy Thursday. Today I have Mackenzie and Jackson helping me. Hi. Now it's almost Christmas. Are you guys excited? Yeah. I'm excited, but I don't feel ready. But I am excited about today's lunch because it came out super cute. Now a lot of these ideas I found on Pinterest and I totally recommend if you're ever looking for a cute lunch idea, go to Pinterest. There's so many ideas there. And it's really easy to take an idea and then make it your own. Put a little twist on it, just like I've done today. So first off, I have something really fun today. I have some milk and cereal. Now when I did the Thanksgiving lunches, I set the kids with some pumpkin O's and that was really fun. So I wanted to be sure to do the Christmas version today. I picked up these hot cocoa O's from Trader Joe's and it's basically like a chocolate cereal with little tiny marshmallows inside. So that is what is in here. And I found these nice containers at Target. They have a lid that's not supposed to leak. Now to go along with that, of course, we have some milk, which is a total recycled DIY. I just took some yogurt drinks. The kids drank them and then I washed them out and we're reusing it for our milk. It just has the perfect snowman shape. For his eyes and his buttons, I just drew on the bottle with a Sharpie. And then his nose and his scarf, I just do some decorative washi tape because as you can tell, I have a lot of washi tape. I put a cute little Christmas napkin there at the bottom just in case there's any spills with the milk. And then we have these guys. Now this cute little reindeer idea is very popular on Pinterest as well, except normally you would use peanut butter, a raspberry, and pretzels. But today I've sort of made the savory version. Instead of peanut butter, I put hummus. And instead of a raspberry, I put a little cherry tomato. And we have a couple of these little tiny gluten-free pretzels as the antlers. And for the eyes, I did go ahead and use the um, candy eyes. You guys think that's weird? Yeah. To have uh, candy eyes on top of hummus? Yeah. Are you gonna eat it anyway? Okay. Yeah. Okay, well then that's fine. And then over here I have a little pizza pinwheel. And I actually made these for an appetizer video a couple days ago and we had a few left. So I'm trying to get through those. And just for fun, I put a little Santa hat pick right in there. And it's also gonna keep our roll together. It's not gonna flop open in our lunchbox. Now of course today I'm remembering to send them with a spoon because they're going to need that for their cereal. And I'm also sending some fruit today. I'm just gonna send these really easy fruit cups. These are tropical fruit, so there's papaya and mango, pineapple in here, and these are in 100% uh, pineapple juice, so they're not in like heavy syrup or anything like that. And then just to add some really easy Christmas flair, I just put some stickers on, just like that. An easy way to dress it up to make it more Christmassy. So does it look good, you guys? Yeah! Mm -hmm. All right, let's get all of our lids on. I am gonna go ahead and put an ice pack in there because of the milk and the meat in there. So let's pack it up and then we'll head out the door. And we'll see you guys when we get back. Okay, so we're back home now. I have Jackson here helping me. Hi. What'd you think, Jack? Okay. What was your favorite part? Maybe the milk. The milk? Did you like it because it was milk or did you like it because of the snowman bottle? Snowman and milk. Yeah, should we save these and use them again? 
Yeah. Yep. Okay, so you can probably tell Kenzie did really well. She had just about everything. She has a little bit of milk in there, but it's still cold, so I think I could put it back in the fridge. Let's see. Jackson, you ate everything as well, except for your little celery. What was wrong with the celery? You didn't like it? No? Because it fell apart. Because it fell apart, you didn't like it? Mm -hmm. But you ate your cereal. That's really good. And you drank all of your milk. Very nice. Okay, so let's check Lily's. I can see Lily didn't touch her little pinwheel at all. I don't think she is a big fan of those. And she ate the hummus out of her celery, left the celery behind. And she also didn't eat her little Rudolph nose, which was a cherry tomato. So that's okay. She's littler than these guys, so maybe she didn't need to have as much. Because so I can see she only ate, she ate most of the cereal. She did leave a little bit of milk in there as well. So next time I'll definitely pack Lily a little bit less and then she could always have more if she need if she wants to she also has a little bit of milk in there But they didn't spill. I don't see any spilled milk in these lunches. So I think today was a win And we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning guys and happy Friday Today is the last day of Christmas themed lunches, and I think these turned out really cute kids. Do you want to come see? Yeah, come see what do you so think? Cool. Okay, so first up I'm serving a ham and cheese sandwich in the shape of a snowflake. And for these sandwiches, I do like to cut the bread out first and then add my filling. So both Mackenzie and Jackson have pretty much the same thing, but for Lily, I added a little bit of mustard because she's the only one that likes mustard. And just to keep our sandwich together, I added a cute little um, Santa hat pick right in there. Now, we also have some broccoli in here today, but I don't have any ranch because we're all out. That's okay. And then in this corner, I have something really special. I have a couple scoops of rice pudding, so it's a little sweet treat. And just for fun, I added a Christmas tree sprinkle. These are jumbo sprinkles. Don't those look cute? Yeah. yeah. Now, today I'm also sending a yogurt simple, or a go-gurt simple. That is in the strawberry flavor. I've included a little tiny spoon for the rice pudding. And then over here we have a little treat. Now I have a gingerbread man for Mackenzie and for Lily, but I ran out. So Jackson, you're gonna get a candy cane Jojo. Do you like those? Yeah. Yeah, good. I am sending one more snack today. I'm sending these cranberry cereal bars. These are the ones I get from Trader Joe's and I think that these are seasonal for Christmas. So I've tried these, they're actually really good. Okay, so now I just have to get my lids on. I am gonna put an ice pack in there today. And the kids wanted to show you their new water bottles. We got these ones at, at Costco yesterday. So yeah, there's their water bottles. And we'll see you guys when we get back. Okay guys, here's what they ate. Mackenzie did really well, she ate everything. Jackson did pretty good. He did leave um, some broccoli here, but he told me that he has a wiggly tooth and so it was kind of hard for him to eat. So I totally understand that. And then Lily, I have Lily with me helping. Say hi. Hi. What did you think of your lunch today, Lily? Good. It was good. What was your favorite part? The sandwich and the broccoli. The broccoli was your favorite? I see that you have a couple bites of your sandwich and a couple bites of broccoli. Were you just too full? Yeah. Was it too much food for you today? Yeah. So next time I might pack a little bit less. We'll see you next week. Okay friends, there you have it. Now if you end up making any of these ideas for your school lunches, don't forget to snap a picture and put it on Instagram and use the hashtag bunches of lunches so that I can see it. I can't wait to see your creations. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.